Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make a personalised Christmas decoration that you can use for Christmas tree decorations, gift tags, present tags and more. So if we go up to the shape and make sure it's on circle, if we hold shift and drag it'll constrain it to be a circle. It doesn't matter what size because we can change that up here with this selected to be say 100 and then we, I'm going to move it just so it's in line with this outer box. So the way that this works is this X and Y location works from the top left of the bounding box. So if we choose the X location to be 100 and the Y location to be 100, we can see that it is now perfectly inside of this outside box. So now I'm going to choose the circle, go to outline and reduce this so it goes inside to be about, let's say, minus eight and click confirm. We've got two separate circles. If we select both, right click, we can choose make compound vector. This then joins them both up to be one solid shape, as we can see. And now I'm going to choose a circle again, click and drag, and choose this to be four millimeters. If I just zoom in, what we want to do, this is going to be the, the hole. So I'm going to click and drag just so it's not intersecting with the outside larger circle. So now I am going to go to outline again, but this time we want to go outside by two millimeters and click confirm. Again, we have two separate circles. If we select both and either go up here or right click and choose make compound vector. Again, we have a loophole that's joined up correctly. And if we were now to select both of the circles and go to unite, this then joins everything up to be one piece. So this is the outside shape of the Christmas decoration. I'm going to put that back on the score layer. So now we want to add some text. Okay, so if we go to the text tool and click and write out some text, I'm going to write Christmas and click off. I don't like this font. So if we go up to the fonts, I've got one on my system called Pacifico, which is perfect for joining up. I'm going to choose that. I do have a separate video tutorial on how to join fonts up, so please check that out. But with this, this is still a text object. So the first thing we want to do is click weld. This actually joins everything up correctly. But the dot on the eye is still floating, so that will be cut off. We can fix this by choosing to release the compound path, click off, and then that breaks everything down to be separate objects. Now we can choose the dot and zoom in and position that just above, so it's intersecting with the eye. If we choose just the dot and the Christmas word, not the internal pieces, and choose Unite, that joins those up. And to get everything joined up correctly, all we need to do is select everything and choose Make Compound Path again. This now has been joined correctly. So if we now place this over the ornament and resize it by choosing the center, 
and just bringing it down. We can use the arrow keys on the keyboard to position it. If you find it's a little tricky or you can't see properly, you can select everything, put it on the engrave layer just to make sure everything is intersecting correctly. And you want that in the center. So, so while that looks good, we can also go to the shape panel and in basic shapes, there's lots of different shapes that you can add. So if we click on a star, it will add a star. If we go back, if we go down and choose festival and open that, right down, we've got some snowflakes. I'm going to close that and close the shape. So with the snowflake, I'm going to put that about in the center, just so it helps strengthen the bauble and adds it adds a bit more decoration. So nothing is joined yet. Everything is still separate. So we can just choose everything and then go to unite, delete this, and then that joins everything up correctly. There's so many different shapes that you can add. I'd suggest just going in here and having a look around. You can make Halloween decorations with pumpkins and spiders and ghosts and bats, Christmas decorations with baubles, bells, there's all sorts really. So I, I suggest just having a look around in the shape panel and just clicking and adding in shapes. There's hearts, they always put them up here. And you can just resize by dragging on in any of these handles, placing where you want. Again, put on the engrave layer. Yeah, you can add anything you want. And that's how to make a personalized Christmas decoration. I'd love to see what you create. Happy crafting.